Hello and welcome to the Simply Cup. It is that time of the week. Guess what? It is a grass edition, just for something a bit different this week. I mean, there's been so many grass couple of days recently, so people have the practice. Let's see if they can put it into actual play, as we have a pretty short map there. Should be a good one this week. Uh, if you don't know how this works, it is... Uh, 11 maps this week, three rounds on each, winner is crowned at the end of that with the most points. Very simple, 60 second warm up, we have 15 remaining. So, let's uh, go to Big Boy Gandhi to start it off. There are only 36 players, so we're getting less and less every week, unfortunately. Which is a bit demotivating, but you know what? That is 36 players which wanted to play, so we are going to do it right here. We are live. few players, I think, fell off instantly to the left somehow. That is all right. Gandhi going for some mega speed, and looks like it has paid off. Can he get this sharp corner on the wall right? Yes, he can. Needed to stall that a little bit, but Zima's out in front. Classic in second. Oh, Gandhi with a bit of airtime can control it, but losing... Out on what was a good run, still 13th there. Pretty good from him. Zemus with 100 points. And Classic with a second good run from him. Um, so I have changed the points as there are a little bit less players. It's uh, pretty much the same, except starting from 100, a little bit more close. Uh, that was a great round from Zemus. Let's go to Justin. Around the middle of the pack in that first round. He's got his beautiful car right there. Let's see what he can do in this wall ride. A little bit far behind right now. 29th, but a few players struggling a little bit. As is quite a struggle angle there. Zemus though, going to get the back-to-back. -back. That's good from him. Asman Nuggets and Justin getting a 7th even with that one. He plays a little bit far behind, struggling with this wall ride. Yep. Doing some gnarly Tony Hawk pro skater grinds, but that is not going to grant him any points. So a great start for Zemus there. Classic not getting as many drops to six. Let's move to Tim. Who has a fantastic map coming out soon. I'm very keen for that. But that is a dirt map. Can he master the grass surface? Ooh, gets the clip on that sharp wall ride. That is unfortunate him. Let's go up to near him. He's doing the speed slides, trying to catch up. Someone clips on the edge there. And near him is going to get a second. Justin with first. Zenus still gaining a lot in fourth. Pretty close rounds. Good map to start off. A little bit dark, but... I mean, cool little map. Alright, so Zima's well in front Nuggets with a pretty good start as well. Justin in third with that good last round. What do we have next? We have a very short map. Once again, I think there's a fair few shorter ones this week because... Struggling to find some random MX ones can be a bit difficult when they're a bit longer. This looks like a pretty cool map because it's by our favorite creator ever, Yoshi Mivalos. Best track of the days ever. But let's see what he can do in the, the short stint map. Let's go to Mac to see how this is. There is a GPS if people need, but... It's quite a short map. Oh, bit of ice. I was expecting road tarmac there. So Mac also missing a little bit, trying to control that very fast reactor. To go through some stadium cars. A nice fountain there. Up through onto the uphill into another snow section by the looks of it. And then into the finish line. So, very quick. Maybe not the easiest, actually, though, with those ice drifts. So, that will be definitely the key to see uh, people 
Mate, are people going to the finish? Or are people just resetting? Yeah. Is there a broken checkpoint? On ya, Yoshi. I right, I think we have to skip. I don't know. Maybe it's just this? I think it's just the start. And people, uh... We'll go one round, and if it's a very big issue, we will skip. Let's go live into it with Simp. Getting a good start, drifting through. Because that, I think, set a checkpoint there, and it didn't get. But anyway, Simp, on to a good start in 7th right now, going through the final re reset ring into the finish line, and does make it in 4th. That's a quick round for him. Nuggets, getting 1st place, Jaffa in 2nd. Uh, it seems like it's uh, uh, it's working, but I think a few people may have just gone around some of these checkpoints as they are a little bit thin. So we shall continue on this one. There's going to be Nuggets moving into first. Seam is not getting too many on this round. But Agra is going to be our POV for this one. Getting a great start, getting a smooth jump instead of any airtime through to the final ice drift taking it quite easy safe this is going to be a very close one it is going to be jaffa though who gets first by a little bit and then a very very close round in the middle with merlin getting second near them nuggets justin and chaotic right behind If you guys still want to join, it's only at map two, so feel free to join. So Nugget Seema still keeping their positions. Let's go to SRP and see how he's going to do this one. Still a banging start, gets a drift well, will carry the speed nicely. A few people going a bit higher on that wall ride. It have more speed on the exit though. Speed into the final drift, getting no air time to gain the speed into the end. Wasn't enough though, as once again we get a bang of a round. That is quite a close one. Jaffa though, getting first once again. Nuggets still getting a lot of points. Seamus, Caldex, Justin, Shroopy. Just in front of SLP there. So good round for the top six. A few players a little bit behind that. Not gaining as many though. Expert not being able to finish. That is unfortunate. So Nuggets is our new leader. Going into the next round. And we have a fantastic bug slide map. That's the wrong spelling, but anyway. So, acceleration, brake, and then whatever angle you need is how to do a bug slide. Who knows how to do a bug slide? Let's go watch Pummel. He definitely knows. Let's see if he nails the first one. It's a little bit of a low jump. So, could be a little bit of a difficult one. Maybe got to start the drift early. But Pormal carrying through the bug slide nicely. Wow, this is a very well calculated. The first one is too inside, and then the last one is too uh, too much. So, not the easiest one. I was hoping that this would be a kind of a fairly easy one. But you do have 25 seconds over time if you were to fail. And we're practicing the speed here of those red boosters. Looks like you can really nail the uh, the last one. So this could be a good watch. Hopefully it's not too difficult for some of the more beginner players. Let's go to Wally to the first round. And if you can't do the bug slides, you can always take it pretty safe. So let's see what Wally can do for this first round. BP 
people going slightly outside. Well, he is going to go just for the smooth. It's drifting, but it's not going to be enough, unfortunately. Let's go drop it. A lot of players falling off at the end there. It's going to be Smithy who picks up 100 points. A few players really, really struggling on this one. Only one checkpoint, so... All the, all the players which fall off have to go from the beginning again. What a map. All right, who shall we watch next? Let's go into the simp pack. Let's go to Henry and see what he's going to go. Starts to drift early. That is going to help him to get into the bug slide. Carries it really well. Although Smithy is onto a great start once again. Henry going a bit wide. It is going to be him out. And it's going to be Smithy gaining 100 points yet again. Hobbit in second. Jaffa in third. So a couple players still struggling a little bit. Wasn't really the easiest of maps. Not enough space and uh, jumping distance between everyone's bug slides here. Let's go to Zentrium, who is going to struggle off the start and will not have enough speed again. So move to the final part. Classic nailing it this time. SRP and Neardom. Going to be the next few players. But look how many people have to restart on this one. It's really killing <laughs> this uh, this final jump. Two red boosters is not enough for a six wide finish. So that's going to be a massive shakeup for Jaffa and Justin who don't finish. That's big. Hopefully this map is a little bit better. We have a nice scenery map because we love scenery a couple of days. I think this is going to reminisce quite a lot of that here. Seems like a good map. Who is going to shine? We've had some shorter maps. This is probably going to be a little bit longer now. <laughs> Budget H10 map. I mean, I've talked to Timmy himself and... Uh, Trees are a little bit of a struggle to get in the megabytes needed. But uh, Wally doing the good strategy of checking the GPS here. Because he probably knows it's a little bit of a longer map. We'll learn it. So we have a great overview. A few small transitions, but seems like it should be pretty doable. There is a free wing there, which I was very concerned about. But there, I did see the respawn on the right. Lots of space on this one to get the drifts well. So it should be a pretty clean map. Not the easiest, but it should be quite a nice one. Oh, wicked! Uh, cameras towards the end there. Right, we haven't watched Hobbit. He's going to be our choice to check it out the first round. Haddock's finding the cuts as per usual, but says he's not going to go for it. I'm disappointed. But we have Hobbit on the round one. Off to a good start getting that speed early. A few people drifting, people going full scent. Merlin in first right there. Near them on a great line on this one. Oof, but misses the second drop. And we're going to have Hobbit actually in first, battling Merlin now. Um, with the Wicked Giraffe cart. Hobbit going to go really low. That is super, super good line by him. Let's maybe drop a little bit further behind. Symptom, not with as much speed. And be in 10th place. Getting the drifts well. Following through. Up into the final section. With the one road drift. Tilted block. Moving into 8th here. So a little bit of a spread out map. Hobbit does nail that first place, Chaotic Sniper just behind. Maybe that's why he didn't want to go for the cut. Jaffa back in action, Sandro and Spirit in the top five. Smithy not being able to finish just yet, just manages and as well as Agra. 
Tim also being able to get to the finish. So maybe a few crashes at uh, key places, which are causing a little bit more of a spread field. Let's go to Tiggy, who is going to go a little bit wide, a little bit safe, which is a good start to go for a little bit of a release over the, uh, the slow grass a little bit. Dropping down smoothly to get the angle well. A few players who got the airtime there will get past. I'll be out in front once again. Maybe has played this map or not. Just doing well. Tiggy <laughs> jumps into the checkpoint there. That is not what you want. A few players we're checking out all have crashed. Let's maybe go to the drone camera to see who is out in front. I think it's going to be near them. Still out in first. A pretty close battle between Hobbit. Who's going to take it? Oh, Neardom! Neardom just throws his first place out the window. Hobbit will get back to back then. Justin Simps and Big Boy Gandhi getting the top four. That's a bad throw by Neardom. That's going to cost him quite a few points. Medic Sniper also who moved into second. Only gaining 18. Actually, a lot of the top field not too good. Oh, and Justin and Hobbit, which are moving back up the field, which is a very close one so far. Nice to see. Let's go to Sandro for the final round, though, in a Lamborghini this week. Seems to have a new car every week. Is that Lamborghini horsepower going to help him to get into first right now? Going through smoothly. Is he going to get the airtime there? Yes, he is. Unfortunately, we'll have to full safe it into this next section. Let's move to Smith. He has an extra lot of speed. Is he going to take this smooth? I have turned names off somehow. Smithy having to save that a little bit. That's going to be Justin out in quite a good lead. Smithy versing Molly and uh, Symptom right here. Both nailing the drifts there. Taking it quite safe, but good angles to follow through with more speed. As we can see, Smithy going through and a few players falling off. Smithy is going to get that top eight there. Top nine, actually. And Gandhi managing to get first. I think Justin made a mistake dropping down to eighth. Can be Jaffa, Chaotic, Paul, and Split Tier. Top 5. Kip, full trolling this week, has been playing too much khaki. It uh, seems like a pretty good map. A few mistakes. Maybe a little bit tough to learn in such a short time. We move to. Map number four. And what is it going to be? Let's find out. Another bit of a longer, more technical map a little bit. There is a GPS though. And it seems like a fairly straightforward route. But I think this could be quite a difficult one to learn. We're going to throw some more tough maps, some more easier maps in to keep it a bit spicy. Let's see if someone goes to the GPS here. Is Spirit going to? Right. We'll follow Gux instead then. I'm gonna drop into this wall ride. Bit of an awkward one there. Maybe wanting to go more left. Carrying through onto a bit of an asphalt section. Nice U-turn into a bit of the sausage uh, transition. A few people trying to jump out there, but it is a smooth one instead. Do some more asphalt this time. Get the grass drift into the U-turn. 180. And then under the scenery right here. Final sausage part. And one more wheel ride into the finish line. Very cool map. I don't mind that. It's uh, instead of the normal fast uh, grass we see. A little bit more pace than usual. Or oh, slower pace, I should say. Let's go gold. For the first round here, can he master it super quickly? Let's find out. I go over the speed bump. Waste a little bit of time, but that is fine. See how high he goes. He goes ultra safe. That is good for him. 
to maintain a good angle on the character. Ooh, goes too far there though. We'll lose a bit of speed because it is the uphill. Now going around this 180. We'll take it safe and easy. That is not too bad into the line there. Let's maybe move to someone a bit further up. Sandra going for a bit of a shortcut actually. Justin struggling. Everyone we're spectating right now is on Struggle Street. Let's move to the drone camera. It's going to be Mr. SRP out in front. No, it's going to be... Who is this? It is a Neodym back in the center line. SRP followed by Centrium. The top three. How's that? Getting a bit of lag. I don't know why I'm getting a bit of lag. Hello, game. I don't know why I'm lagging. It's a... Uh... Lots of people falling off in that uh, middle sausage section, maybe going for the shortcut instead of taking it safe. But it uh, seems like a pretty cool map, just maybe a little bit difficult. Let's go to Asmund. Walking the Smamich J skin. Go for the drift, gonna go easy left, take it low to try and gain more speed. Hasn't made much of a difference, good drift. Losing the gear there though, gonna cost him a little bit of time, down into 15th. Gets a good 180 here. Let's see who is gonna go for the shortcut, a lot of people taking it safe. No, a lot of people going for the shortcut and has paid off in the second round. Has been sticking into 11th, maybe a few people having to actually respawn. I thought most of them made it. Has been trying to gain these few extra positions at the end, is doing so with more speed after the 180. Mr. Nuggets with a lot more speed. Rapid angle into there, not gonna quite snipe Smithy as we're getting a ninth place there. A great ending by uh, Nuggets there. Cool map, I like it. So I tried finding most maps this week which were pure grass, or at least 80% plus. This one's a bit of a mix, but cool little grass mix map. Let's go to Zemus though, who has been doing very good so far. Let's see if he can control it on this quick map right now. Keep going for some wicked bounces. Zemus getting not the greatest landing, also losing the gear. Carries through nicely, battling Paul and Sandro. Zemus going through the 180, Paul with a bit of a lower jump, Sandro with a bit of a higher jump. Now going for the risky round, both of them aren't gonna fail there. Justin also struggling a little bit. This is a difficult, risky jump. Although, up in 10th, going through pretty safe. Finding a little bit more speed compared to a few players though. And we'll nearly move up to 6th or 7th with this. 8th. He's going to follow through. Hobbit in 1st, Neodym in 2nd, Smithy in 3rd. So definitely the crucial part of this map was those who tried the risky route. Did it pay off? Did it not? Justin triple minusing obviously did not like that risky route. Has moved down to my position with that one. So really a change of the leaderboard in this. Going into map number five. Hello, Mini. And we have a map by someone called Symptom. It is a Simp Grass right here. Let's see how good this map is. It does look like a uh, Nadea map, so I thought maybe it could be quite appropriate. There are a few transitions, but it uh, seems like it could be fun. Maybe the hardest part could be this wall ride. Um, and definitely an advantage to those who have played, but sometimes we get maps which are known, sometimes not so known. It is how it is. Let's watch Henry though, going into this first line, nearly misses that checkpoint actually. And we'll have a little bit less speed, so let's see how difficult this is. You do have quite a lot of time to adjust, and that you can go quite high, so I think that is doable for most players. Seems like everyone's getting through. A few bonks, but I think that is perfectly fine. 
Let's go to Spatia for the second half of this. Uh, opt to respawn. Trying a bit of a release strat there. So I think people will maybe have a few bonks in that uh, transition with the scenery on the side there. Could be something to look out for, but we are going into the round. Who shall we watch? Who shall we watch? Let's watch Mr. Shroopy. No, we're going to say Whisper Tear, actually, as it doesn't change. <laughs> Thanks, Nade. Someone trying a bit of a lower line there. Don't think it's going to pay off, so I haven't seen them again. Spatia going wide and safe. Few players going to hit that scenery, as I talked about. So Spatia moves up to 8th. Gets a bit of airtime, though, nearly hitting the scenery as well. He does. That is going to be a respawn for him. So move to the drone camera. It's going to be a great battle between Chaotic... Oh, Chaotic gets the first place, but only by one hundredth of a second. Jaffa Gandhi just missing out. And a bit of a gap between SP, Asmin, Merlin, and Sandro. So a couple players are struggling at this checkpoint. But for the most part, seems pretty doable. You're already leaving me. Right, who haven't we watched? Let's watch Baron. He does go for that a low strat I talked about. Doesn't seem to pay off too well though. He is finding himself in 27th. Gonna take it safe and easy compared to a few players which are full risking, which have fallen off. So Baron moving to 19th and probably moving even further up into 13th into the war I jump. Gonna be another close round between Sandro and Symptom. Symptom gonna snipe his own map. Gold and Sandro in second and third. Seen as classic and spirit. Thanks for you. Plays on the leaderboard. Justin not finding a finish yet on this one as well. Absolutely throwing his rake is really molding right now. And Volcane not being able to finish either. A few players hitting a thousand points now. Let's move to the race leader. Neerdom has got a 100 point lead. And we have some pretty close points just below. Gonna take it smooth and easy, knows that the scenery is there, so goes super smooth, trying to get this one safe as well, but doesn't get it as clean as he may be wanting. Goes lows here to get the lower jump, more speed, more angle, it's not gonna quite happen for him. i probably come out about 8th position, as we have yet again another close round. Nuggets, Jaffa and Justin come back on this one, or an heat just behind. Uh, you do. How was your walk? Piv really not liking this one. I think that was a pretty nice map though. Agra not actually finishing. But near him, that was a pretty good round for him. Still managing these top eights, which is going to help him to continue to stay at the top of the leaderboard. And we have a heavy scenery map, which could be the one I was most concerned about. Because people might focus more on scenery instead of actually playing the map. Or making the map, I should say. But we have an intro with the entire GPS. I've never seen this before. I have never ever seen a GPS in the intro. That is fascinating. So does that mean there's no GPS in the map? I don't think there is. So people are going to be thrown into the deep end here. Hopefully it's not too bad. Seems like it uh, should be pretty good. There are a few transitions. So, Oh, there was a back for GPS. Good. So going to have to watch out for the scenery here. Zendrin, Neo, and... Zima's doing quite good. As we move into the glass, up 
down wall ride. We have a nice grass drift there into a looping. So this actually seems like a pretty cool map. And then a risky and safe finish. That actually seems pretty good. Maybe a little bit tough once again, but should be able to safe it as we go through with Mr. Curse. So let's see how he's going to go into this first round. Going to take the upper side here to gain more speed. Going to work out pretty well for him. Gives him a good angle. Sandro and Hobbit, I think, up in first. As well as Smithy, I think. Mr. Naga is catching up a few positions, a few players hitting the scenery there. One player's going up really high up into the sky on that wall ride. Naga going to go nearly into the scenery. Pull with a good drift. No, it's Merlin. They both have the same car. I can't see who's who, but we're going into the final straight. It's going to be Sandro by 0.2 medium and Kaldic also on a great run. Hang on. I'm just going to leave that there for, for people. You can uh, you can think of your own thing. But we have Jaffa not doing too good on this round. Neadam going to gain some great points for himself. We go to round two. It's not over just yet. Pormal on the camera. No pressure, Pormal. I know you like this pressure. I'm not going to give you any right now as we follow you. Nearly into the scenery there. Nice bug slide to maintain a little bit of speed, but let's move up slightly as we'll have to save it there. Gonna be Zemus up in the top right now. Need him and Justin on a great round. Mr. Z gonna get the great angle low jump. Justin though with the advantage. Need him with more speed off that drift, so gonna get third. No, it's going to be Zemus in fourth with an amazingly close round there. So we have the final few players, Kip still throwing, and they're going to have a bad respawn as well. No, he's going to find an alternative strat. What an RPG player. One thing we haven't had yet is an RPG edition. If someone could make RPG maps, that could be playable for everyone. That would be a super sick one. Let's uh, take the pressure off of Paul Let's go to Piv. I oh, yeah, don't think we've spectated just yet. Who plays on the left getting airtime. That's not what you want. Keep taking it super safe as we have a bit of lag. Oversteering on the jump. That's not going to work out in his favor as we go through the map now. Let's go up to Asmund. Also struggling Baron in the pack. Paddling Merlin, Agra, and Spirit there. Oof, Baron going very far. Gonna get the speed through to here though. But as we have seen, people go super wide, nearly into rocks. But Baron though, controlling it. Sandra currently in first. Is he gonna maintain that place? He is indeed. It's gonna be near him, Seamus, and Justin just behind. Who grounds on this one? Cool map, actually. I like it. Round. Well, one minute. I mean, it depends how many maps. They could be like slightly longer, but then we'll need slightly longer warm up. Um, but if you made like 30 second RPGs, then probably could keep it pretty similar. My computer is struggling. Yeah, I had a bit of lag on that one. Didn't think it was going to be that intensive, but anyway, we go to the next map, which this is what I look for. This is absolutely banging. This is the content that I wanted to wait for. Who needs a couple of day maps when we have shit like this? Although, okay, no, there is. I needed to check if this map was what possible. <laughs> and I'm glad 
players also are with me. What a banger of a map. This is all... You're wondering what to make in Simplica. It can just be like this. It doesn't need to be anything serious, honestly. I wonder how difficult this is going to be to spectate. <laughs> the best camera is going to be the drone one here. Players finding the... Uh, the lines here. Kip, who has been trolling, I think has played this map because that was too good of a first round. So maybe could try and get the triple 100. But what a map. Fantastic. Centrum going through, crashing into the tree. I wonder if my bitrate struggles because there's so many trees on this map. <laughs> <laughs> Why not mini RPG? Yeah, like honestly, I think mini RPG would be perfect. So this could be quite a map which changes the field there. Someone rage quitting who was in sixth place. That's unfortunate. But this is the leaderboard going in. Neodym has a great advantage. Let's actually spectate him to see if he can control the nerves. It's going to find a great line to start off, taking it safe through the middle, but into a tree. Going to find himself a little bit further back, probably in 15th, maybe 14th. Gets a great bit of speed through here, goes through the second ones. And Kaldix going to be first, but we go to the difficult ending. No, near him with a great end. Gets into fifth of that. A few players bonking right at the final part. A few players falling off. Kip and one of them. Seamus Expert Naga, the top four. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Justin now? Oof. Justin not liking this edition. But we're checking out Naga onto a good start, going the wider strat, so we can find that safe line into the finish here. Is this going to pay off for him? I think he's going way too far. He has indeed misses the com completely. He's going to get a 12th place, which still isn't too bad. Kaldic once again. With 100 though, Merlin picking up a lot. Zemus, Nidham, and Sandro. Just behind. So, a couple of players not finishing there. The leaderboard still moving around a little bit. Let's go to the drone camera for the final round. Who are the experts on this one? This is a good camera, actually. See, imagine this with 100 players. I wish this comp would go back up to 100 players. It was great to see Kip, though, in first. Gonna battle Spatia. Spatia hits a massive tree there. I can't even talk because that was a good round up until the end. So Tia struggling to get to the ramp after that mistake. Kip going to get a bang of a round. Jaffa Nuggets gold. With big boy points as well. Oof. Not too good for the top three on this one. But that closes the leaderboard once again. So we go to a Papega map, to a very simple map by the looks for it. What a banger one. There is a bit of road on this one, but mostly grass. <laughs> we go from the most trees ever to literally zero trees. Let's go Gux for the warm up. <laughs> What a great rainfall of cars there. Piv rage quitting. Gux finding that jump line. It's good for him. It's gonna. Was gonna attempt the loop, but pulls out a little bit. And then into that final two corners. Oh, Piv, thanks for playing, mate. Hopefully, you had a good one. Gux trying a few different lines here. Gonna go the loop cut. 
I also want a cut edition. We haven't done a cut edition yet. That'd be a really good one. So lots of ideas, but we need maps. We really need you guys to make some maps for us to continue the vibe here. We are going live. Who shall we watch? Let's watch Mr. Key. Who is going to go the low strat into the jump. Most players knowing how to do this now. Going to go full send through the gap and he's going to get it really well into fourth. Mr. Ball came with the best line there, but draws back a little bit. Chaotic and... No, Expert, sorry. And Jaffa will be the ones who gain, though, in two first and second. So pretty close round with a pretty short map. One more. Not sure what he did. Maybe trying a full send cut loop and did have to respawn. So Pommel from 10th, gonna move to 11th. So points still able to be picked up here on this map. Who haven't we watched in a while? I don't know, let's go to Spatia. Uh, jump down here, go smooth into the cut loop. I thought he was gonna clip there, but doesn't and gains a lot of speed over the dirt, uh, the heavy grass though. It's gonna be a battle to, between Paul and Sandro. Paul is gonna get it after a terrible round on the first one. So that is really good for him. Sandro, Henry, Gux, and Zemus just behind. As we have one Australian at the top of the leaderboard and then two at the very bottom on this round. Although Agro and who was this? I think he was a, a late joiner. Not sure who that was. Let's go to Jaffa. Haven't really spectated him too much today. Is he going to make his Great Britain proud? Let's find out. Smooth start. Going to go super sharp. Going to have to save that. Actually, saves it quite well. We'll drop down to seventh, but could be a lot worse. Going to be a battle between Hobbit, Sandro, and Paul once again. Paul actually sniping it. After a terrible first round, gets two back-to-back -back wins. That's really good. Sandro just missing out once again. Hobbit, Key, Zim, and Agra. Just behind Tiggy, a little bit slow on that one. I'm managing still to get points, and that is it for this map. A couple more maps to go. Yeah, let's find out what is in store. All right, so we go from a bit of a smooth one to a bit more enclosed one. Maybe a bit of a go-karting style map. <laughs> no trees again. We we used the tree limit all on that one map. Now we don't get any trees for any of the other maps. <laughs> so we have the go-kart start, and then we have a bit of a weird, wacky wall ride. This is probably going to cost or get you a really good start as that transition is quite difficult to do well. So into a bit of an asphalt jump, and onto some grass. Centrium is completely missing it. Try it again. So a bit of a uh, slower pace map again. So we have some good faster pace maps and some good slower ones this week. I think we have a pretty good choice of maps. It takes a while to find these maps, but they seemingly have been all right. Vulcan disagreeing though, as we go in to the first round. Let's go watch Chaotic. Currently doing really good in fifth. Let's see if he can keep it up. Off to a good start. It's going to be Chaffer though with some brilliant lines there. Smooth steering. Going to really help on this one. Nearly hitting that edge though. Okay, the one going full send. He's going to get the box line. No, he's not. I respect that though. That was a good attempt. That would have pushed him very far in front, unfortunately for him. He's now going to be very far behind. 
Sandra, though, currently in the middle of the pack. Pretty close round as we have some very difficult sharp corners here. Sandra, I thought, would have gone through the triangle. Not quite going through there. But we go to the final jump. He has come out in fourth, picking the better U-turn strat. No, nope, he's going to get sniped by Synth there. But a good round in fifth. And then we have a very close battle just behind. Catholic after that mistake, getting seventh, which is pretty good. I think a lot of players struggling to find what to do here. So actually, try and go to the drone camera, but uh, the one which follows this time. Needham doing very good though. Jaffa in second. Zima's just behind in third. So who do we have? We have Sandro because it, for some reason, really likes clicking the custom cars. Sandro giving us a great overview of the pack now. Let's see who's going to risk it. A couple players try and Kip gets it the best. And Sandro also picking up a lot of extra speed compared to a few other players. Kip though, way in front. Going to try not quite bug slide. Thought he might have bug slided again. Sandro getting airtime and we'll have to struggle up this hill. Kip though, way out in front there. What a line by him. Shouldn't have been trolling. Had a chance to win it this week. It's going to be near him right behind. Nuggets on a good run as well as Jaffa. Sandro trying himself into the top 10. I think he's going to get around 12th maybe. It's going to be Simph though. Only just being unfinished as well as Hobbit. Justin having those internet issues I think. But Kip, two seconds faster. One Point three seconds faster. That is a brilliant run from him. Let's actually go try and find where he is in the leaderboard. 30th place. Imagine if he wasn't trolling. Let's see if he can get a back-to-back -back win though. Can we get a bit of a slower start missing that gear he wanted to keep? Players smoothing. A few players drifting around. Here we go. This is where he's going to gain a lot of points. Going to go into the bug slide. Going to get it super well. Getting the nose down into the good uh, grip at the back of your tires. Only near them and chaotic in front. Keep trying himself, getting a bit of extra speed there, but hasn't paid off. Going to go through the triangle compared to a few other players. And going to go full send on the boost. So from 8th to 10th, but has slightly more speed other than Moon there. And it gets a 9th position. Kaldek though, with that uh, tactic, gains first. Needham still uh, managing to keep the high scores as well. Jaffa with 80 points. So really good for those players. Zima's not so good. Gonna nearly get past. No, he definitely is going to get past by Chaotic. Sandro still doing well in the middle. <laughs> what a map, ladies and gentlemen. What a map. This is why Simply Cup is the best competition on the internet. This is what we wait for. Imagine this with 100 players. Alright, so go from a 40 second map to a 7 second map. Fan fucking tastic right here. People trying a bit of a shortcut. I respect it. There is not too much to say though in the commentary box. So let's go to the drone camera and see if anyone is getting the shortcut. Who's going to be able to smooth steer the best? Who's going to be able to control their drift? This is going to be chaos. Smithy nearly getting it as well as Nuggets. Nuggets actually getting it. So definitely faster if you can. This is certainly going to be interesting. I think we just keep the camera here. I don't think we watch any POV. I think we just keep it on the up. Amazing map. I agree. What a fantastic addition to the Simply Cup. <laughs> We 
to go into the live round. Good luck. <laughs> right, how many people are going to go for the cut? How many people are going to go safe? Only two, three players go for the cut. That's disappointing. All three of them failing though, and it's going to be a massively close round. One thousandth of a second. Nugget's getting it. Off of Nidham. What a round. The top seven actually doing really good for points there. And then a few players a little bit behind, not doing so good. Let's go one player point of view round. Let's go Pulmol. See how good he can do. The very, very skillful turn. Going to go super wide though. That is not going to be the one for him. It's going to be Jaffa. For point seven, good round. Need him. Getting second again, Baron, SRP, and Spatia in the top five. <laughs> and then we have the players who try the cut. Ooh, oh, we're getting it. <laughs> I respect, I respect. All right, let's go a different camera. Let's go the up view like this <laughs> Oof. SRP getting the first place with more pace at the end there Chaffer, Big Bugatti and Sandro and get the top positions this round and then again a few players struggling at the start but I respect I respect it so what a map plus plus That's a banger. This is what we like to see in the Simply Cup. I did hint it uh, a while ago about a, um, a precision or a very short uh, Simply Cup. So it could be funny to have something like that as every map. Anyway, we go from a very short map to a bit of a longer one. Hopefully pretty good. I was kind of slightly concerned about this, but uh, let's see how we go. No, I think it seems pretty self-explanatory. So, should be fun. A few trees to crash into. Cannot wait. Second, last map. Let's go to the leaderboard. Need it. Having a great run this week. Gonna be in first. Jaffa in second. So, those two quite far in front, but then we have a pretty close leaderboard from Nuggets, Chaotic, Sandro, Zemus, and Merlin. Simple, Smithy, and SRP, even Baron, Hobbit, and Asman, which are on the same points. Anyone's game. So Neodym slightly struggling a little bit. It is only warm up. This is where to get the mistakes out. He's trying every single line he can to make sure the round which matters in 10 seconds will be his one that he gets first. Let's go someone a little bit further behind. Who's a little bit further behind? Ninja. I don't think these players were here from the start, but. No, Ninja's going to be AFK. That's not what we like to see. Let's go to Titan. Not off to a great start. Someone hitting the checkpoint there. Kaldek in first. Oof. Titan having to respawn as well as about six or seven players there. Let's move up to King. Going to take this move and save. But hits that checkpoint. That is certainly not what you want. Let's go to... K Expert. That is not where you want to be going, mate. Let's go to the drone camera instead because we have seen quite a few mistakes as this is a little bit of a difficult map to learn quite quickly. Jaffa, however, off to a fantastic start. Simp on a good one, trying to catch him up. Will he get it? Not quite at the end there. Wow, super close near them. Actually getting top three. Seamus, Kip, and Centrum. Just behind. Someone going for a shortcut there. I respect that, Paul. I respect that. I don't know 
if that's going to pay off. He's going to cost him all his points for this round. All right. Let's go to... Yeah, we watched. I don't think we've watched Symptom too much. So, see if he can get another great round. Going to be off to a good start. Jaffa, though. Good line in that follow through. Seems for a better drift there. He's going to hit this checkpoint. No one but Jaffa is going to fall off. All three of those players either hitting the bad grass or going too wide. We have a bit of lag. Simp is in first, though. Let's move to Chaotic slightly behind. It's going to be poor more with an extra bit of speed. Chaotic trying a bit of a different line to gain more speed off the road, but get a bad gear. Still with more speed, though, he's going to probably catch up right now with those speed slides. It's going to be really close up until the end, but Kato goes too far. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a round. Oh, my God. Everyone is trying everything on this map. Kip, once again, going for that shortcut. Oh, my gosh. So, Simp with that safe ending. Does get the first place. Which was going to be a very close round, but this will happen sometimes. Let's move to the drone camera for the fun around there. Let me stim from the drone camera. So, a good start in first. Can he maintain it? Get nearly 300 points on this one. Sandro though, Jaffa nearly trying to get it. It's going to be key though. With more speed, Sam for a great line. We'll have to save a little bit though. And this is a lot better of a round. Five players in contention. Sandro and Kip, the two custom cards trying to go wide. Not sure if that's going to pay him off. We shall see Kip with more speed though. Near him, hitting that edge. That's not good. Kip falling off. That is really not good. It's going to be Simph though, still in first note. I am talking about Key, Henry and Simph to get the top three. So a lot better round from that one. Still a little bit far uh, fetch field, but I think it was a pretty good map. Maybe a little bit too difficult, but uh, not too shabby. It's going to be Neardom who has Lost his lead a little bit, but is in a good advantage for the final map. What is that going to be? Let's find out. No, I miscounted. I am a dumbass. So, that will be the GG's. Well played. That was a pretty fun week. Um, I think all those maps are good. Not sure what everyone thought, but I think that was pretty good. Need him. 2.6k GG on the win. Jaffa Chaotic getting the top three. Just sniping out uh, nuggets there. Merlin with a great uh, lot of rounds this week. Seamus doing very good. Sandro. Simpton. Paul Mall. And Smithy. The top 10 for this week. Thanks for those who played. Thanks for those who watched. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new, drop a follow, drop a sub. This is on 11 pm. Richmond time every week. Make some maps. I want to see them. Don't think there's much more to it. Thanks for watching. Hey, Thanks for playing. That's pretty good. See you for the next one. Actually, week 10. Depending how many people there are, I might do a bit of a special edition. So, keep an eye out. Week 10, which is probably going to be the 6th, the 5th. No, the 4th, because I'm ahead of you guys. So, the 4th. That could uh, be a fun edition for you guys. Make sure to be there. Anyway, I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.